Warning, this video blog or vlog may contain harsh language and opinions that are not necessarily in line with YouTube or its partners or affiliates. YouTube does not openly endorse the content of this vlog. All opinions are expressly those of Ranting Ramsey and do not reflect on the opinions or values of YouTube, its affiliates, or its parent or partner companies. Greetings, Internet people. Ranting Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? Uh, I intend for this to be a relatively quick video because I don't have a whole hell of a lot to say on this particular subject. But as may, uh, many of you may have noticed by the title, today we're talking about the uh, Chicago school that has recently banned the, um, I guess for lack of a better term, the use or bringing to school of bagged lunches. And as usual, I have a uh, article linked in the description from where I got this information. And as some of you may know, the, uh, the Young Turks have already done a uh, video on this subject. I have not yet, as of this point, watched it because I was intending on making this video a couple of days ago and I got sidetracked and then they put out their video about it. So anyway, that's basically what we're talking about today is there's a school in Chicago um, I believe it was the um, uh, Little Village Academy Public School, and um, they basically have banned brown bag or lunch bag lunches, and what that basic or lunch box lunches. I'm sorry, I meant to say. And what that basically means is that students of this particular public school can no longer bring a lunch from home. They are faced with the choice of either purchase a cafeteria school lunch or go hungry. Now those of you who have been watching me for a while know probably already one of the reasons why I have a problem with this because I feel one of the largest factors that should be figured into child rearing is parental responsibility. That is one of my recurring themes, is parental responsibility. And um, the first issue I take with this particular case is that right off the bat, it is the uh, school district removing parental responsibility. Straight up, they say the parents aren't capable of providing nutritious lunches for their school children, so we are going to provide them for them, and you don't have the right to send your school, your children, your child to school with a lunch of your choosing. You are forced to spend the money on a school lunch. Now, there are a couple of major issues that I take with this, and I'm going to address the monetary one, first of all. Now, basically, in this school district, I believe the uh, article says that the uh, cafeteria lunch costs $2.36. And that's um, somewhat significant. That adds, uh, in a, a five-day school week, that adds a bare minimum of $10, more around the realm of, I believe it's $12 and some change, of cost to the parent per week. So now, in addition to all your bills and other things that you have to take care of, these parents are now having to spend an additional $12 per week per student at this particular school to feed their children. That's simply fucking asinine, and I can't really see that as anything other than a ploy on the school's part to get more revenue to spend on other things. Because in a, I, I did the math the other night, and at $2.36 per student in a school of just 200 students, I don't know how many students that the uh, Little Village Academy Public School has in it, but even if they only had 200 students, the um, the price of the school lunch would generate over a thousand dollars per week in revenue for the school. So if they're having budget problems, I could see that as being an instant like, well, this is what we're doing. No more brown bag lunches. You have to spend money on school lunch so we can get revenue because we're not good at handling our funds. I don't know. That's just conjecture. I'm saying that right now. I don't know if that's the real reason behind it, but it seems like a very valid point when you ban school or home bag, brown bag or lunchbox lunches that you're going to get $2.36 per student per day. 
So revenue seems like a legitimate point, but then on the um, on the implication side of things, uh, it basically is saying that parents aren't sending their students to school with nutritious lunch, and that the school knows better than the parents. It just seems really fucking asinine to me, because I do know that there are students like me in elementary school and junior high or whatever level this particular school happens to be, that in my lunchbox lunches as a student, I never had anything like Little Debbie snacks or or completely, you know, just garbage snack food. I always had something entirely nutritious, like it was not uncommon for my lunch to include something like a uh, lunch meat sandwich with an apple and possibly like a little pouch of yogurt-covered raisins or something like that. It was relatively nutritious lunch, and in my milk, or in my thermos was always milk, except for on Wednesdays, and I was lucky enough to get chocolate milk on Wednesdays only. Yeah, my parents were that fucking specific and strict. But, um, so basically this whole edict of the school saying, no, no brown bag lunches, no school lunch, or no lunchbox lunches, you can only purchase school lunch, it, it's, it's specifically questioning the ability of their parents to provide the students with nutritious lunches. And that just really seems asinine and bullshit to me. I don't think the school has a right to place this sort of restriction on the students and vicariously the parents. I don't think it falls within the right of any school district anywhere to place this sort of restriction on the lunches that the students can eat. Because I'm sure many of you may know or remember that school lunches are far from nutritious. It's generally just mass-produced crap that the school district could buy at the cheapest cost that claim to be nutritious, but it, it's not fucking nutritious. Rarely is it filling, and never does it leave the student feeling um, satisfied or anything other than slightly nauseous in the coming periods of class. So I don't really understand how any school district could pass this sort of edict and expect it to be in the better interest of the students. Now I understand there are a lot of parents out there that send their kids to, uh, to school with absolutely horrid nutrition in their lunches, but that doesn't negate the uh, parents that stand send their parents to lunch with very, very nutritious lunches. And once again, it comes back to the point that the school board, this district, does not have the right to say that the parents cannot send their children to school with the lunch that they deem worthy. For the school district to try to step up and say, we know what's better for your kids than you do, is absolutely asinine, arrogant, and complete and utter bullshit. So directly to uh, to directly address the administrators of the Little Village Academy Public School in Chicago, you people need to get some stuff straight. You do not have the right to dictate what what parents send their students to school with as it pertains to lunch. That is not a right you have ever had, and the fact that you have taken the liberty to impose this right is absolutely asinine. You don't have the right to do this. And, to, and, 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 and if you think that we haven't noticed that it's simply a trick to generate revenue, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, then you're stupider than the students you're trying to educate. Not that I'm saying Chicago students are stupid. I'm just saying they're uneducated because of the level of education that they have. You know, if they're six years old or, or eight years old or ten years old or in first grade or fourth grade or fifth grade, they are technically uneducated, thusly, to use a common vernacular, stupid compared to any adult who has made it through that system. And for these adults, the administrators, to enforce this ridiculous regulation is to say that the parents are stupid as well. That's pretty much what I have to say. You guys, the, the, these administrators of this school, 
are just completely way off base and the uh, parents of this particular district need to stand up and make some sort of stand and, and fight for their rights as parents. And I guarantee you, if enough of you do stand up and fight for your rights as parents, you will be successful. Because I will, I will say this, I don't feel, uh, without fear of reproach, that the majority of the nation is on your side, parents. That this school district is just retarded in the... Um, in the, uh, the measure that they have enacted here, and you have every right to stand up for your right to send your child to school with whatever lunch you deem worthy, because that is your parental right. Stand up for that right. And if you don't stand up for that right, I have one simple question to ask you, which is Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. And if you don't understand that, Whiskey Tango, tango Foxtrot is phonetic alphabet for what the fuck. I'm Ranning Ramsey. That is all. Hey, did you get all that, man?